Hi, Dr. Anna here with right in the middle of our 21 day detox challenge. And I've asked all of you to follow an elimination diet. We started off being gluten free, weaning off of caffeine, sugar, alcohol. And there are many reasons for that. As we go past the first 10 days, where we're stepping it up into a very highly modified elimination diet, including eliminating meats. And I am here today with Tom Maltair, a functional nutritionist, expert in the field, author of the Whole Life Nutrition Cookbook that I shared with you on our first video, and um, just an expert. He's also the upcoming author, releasing March 31st of yeah. the elimination diet. So. I couldn't refuse interviewing him today. I'm so excited to bring him to all of you. So Tom, tell us the importance of an elimination diet and why it's so powerful. Well, uh, Anna, you know, uh, what I've been seeing in 10 years of clinical practice and interviewing some of the world's experts on elimination diets, Dr. Leo Gallen, Dr. Jeffrey Bland, Dr. Sidney Baker, who are teachers of mine from the past, you know, really there's nothing you can do in a functional medicine practice or a functional nutrition practice that will have better results than eliminating foods that are irritating your intestinal tract and enveloping your entire body in inflammation. So I, I have to emphasize there is really nothing more effective than doing an elimination diet in clinical practice for anything, whether it's skin issues, whether it's headaches, whether it's mood problems, whether it's bowel issues, the elimination diet is bar none the best thing you can do. So tell us, Tom, the top foods that we really need to avoid during this, during, when we're on an elimination diet. You know, it, it, it's in this order. Gluten and dairy are, are top two. Um, sugar is way up there. Soy can be a problematic for some. But I'll tell you what, gluten is the king. It's the ringleader. It really is. And the problem is, is that a lot of people can't get it out. I mean, it's in the flour dust when someone's cooking pancakes in your kitchen, you know, it's, it's in the sauces that you're going out to eat at. It's cross-contaminated in a lot of dishes as they're preparing things in kitchens and whatnot. So it's the toughest thing to eliminate, but the most important. It can tear down your intestinal wall, can excite your immune cells like nothing else. Really, it's hard to make progress. You know, uh, Dr. Alicia Fasano that I work with at the Autism Research Institute, he says, you know, 100% effort, I, I said, you know, Dr. Fasano, I tell my clients 100% effort equals 100% results. If they can get all of these foods out, they feel tremendously better. And he said, you know, Tom, 98% effort equals zero results. Meaning like, that's how important it is. Yeah. Really, you gotta get those foods out and keep them out and watch what happens. Watch how good you feel. Yeah, and that includes like where our foods are fried, right? Like you can think, oh, I can get a French fry. Right. Because, but no, it's fried and stuff that the breading that's is, right. you know, fried something or other. Is also apple fried. pie, you know, like at McDonald's, they do that. Or sometimes they'll do the tortillas, the, the wheat tortillas, you know, for the tostadas and whatnot. So you never know what's in that fryer. Right, and I think that's so important. And one thing that Dr. Alessia Fasano said, and I had interviewed him as well, what a brilliant man. Oh yeah. Totally, and he had found what's called zonulin, right? It's the mm -hmm. peptide that gets in through the intestinal wall. And so we think, okay, how does leaky gut develop, right? But what's the key? Why are some of us more susceptible at times and not susceptible at others? And and really cortisol is the key that unlocks the door that mm -hmm. allows this penetration. Well, listen, you know, watch the news spike your cortisol you yeah. know drive in traffic spike your cortisol we live in a high cortisol environment so again you know being able to put the brakes on yourself balance your cortisol your stressors is hugely important but what we can do in our diet is huge and and that statement in and of itself 98 percent equals zero result is huge so all of you are working really hard eliminating it don't feel set back you're like oh my gosh something slipped in just keep working on it day after day after day you'll feel an improvement absolutely and um tom so what are some of the foods that you definitely want to include when you're on an elimination diet because tom is really mm. kind of seeding this question he's like the fermented food brilliant <laughs> man and sprouting and yeah does yeah. all these great things five yeah. kids five <laughs> kids including <laughs> twin seven-year-olds I mean, how he does it, and just about the microbiome. Being an obstetrician, I want to hit on that before we're done. But Absolutely. first, about the foods that we really should include to boost our immune system and heal the gut lining. Well, you saw my TEDx talk on broccoli, right? So I'm a huge fan of broccoli, broccoli sprouts, the cruciferous family of vegetables. They ramp up detox like nothing else. So broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, kale, Brussels sprouts, all those are phenomenal. And the broccoli sprouts themselves are brilliant, right? And having lots of greens, so hey, Mighty Maca greens. A lot of green products really help with detoxification. They turn on your genetics. 
to help process some of the toxins you've accumulated, and they also protect your cells. They turn on antioxidant genes to protect your cells as well. The blueberries, of course, a lot of the berries are fantastic with, with antioxidant function. And then, of course, as we'll talk about, fermented foods are brilliant. You know, I have this video about lacto fermentation. It's one of the easiest things you can do. You put a little salt water brine in a bottle, you chop up some vegetables, boom, add in the vegetables, put the cap on, wait seven days, 10 days, boom, that's it. That's all it takes. You know, you can mash your own sauerkraut if you want. You know, in our cookbooks, the Whole Life Nutrition Cookbook, we have an entire get cultured section, right? So you can learn about cultured vegetables. So that's fantastic. And what that does is the combination of all these what's called phytochemical, plant-based chemicals, turning on your antioxidant genes, and then giving yourself lots of beneficial microbes that will protect your intestinal tract, that will help you digest your foods, that will produce lots of beneficial vitamins for you. The combination is vital, vibrant health. That's what we're shooting for. And I'm shooting for that with all of you. So keep on 21 Day Detox Challenge. Post your comments be below. Look out for, I will share with my audience when his Elimination Diet Cookbook comes out the end of March. And definitely get the Whole Life Nutrition Cookbook. Thank you, Tom. Oh, pleasure, Anna. Nice seeing you.